Hello, Vimeo members. This is Seth Wharton. This is the sixth episode in the Vimeo Video Schools series of tutorials on using Windows Movie Maker. And in this episode, I'm going to be showing you how to add music to your video in Windows Movie Maker, how to add narration, and how to adjust the audio between all of the components in your project, between the audio levels in your footage, between your music, and between your voiceover or narration. The first thing that you might want to do after you've cut all your clips together is you might want to add some music. There are a few ways to do this. In the Home tab of our ribbon, you'll see there is an Add Music button. If I select the Music Note icon on top, it's going to take me into this browser window where I can navigate to any place on my computer where I've got music. And if I select a track, say this one, and click open, it's going to add it to my project. You see this green bar below my footage, that's my audio track. But let's say we don't have music on our computer that we wanna use and we wanna go get some music online. We wanna download music to add to our project. If I select the flyout menu from the bottom of the add music button, You'll notice I get this menu that gives me some options for places where I can go get music. And right there, the third option built into the add music is the Vimeo Music Store. And if I select this, it's going to take me straight to Vimeo's Music Store. And I can browse for tracks by mood or genre and download tracks from here. So let's say I like this track. It's part of the Creative Commons. I'm going to download it. And I'm going to get this information that pops up about rights and attribution because this is in the Creative Commons. But I'm also going to get this command menu asking me what I want to do with the track. I can save it and I can direct it to any folder on my computer. So I'm going to save it into my music folder. And then I go back into Movie Maker and select Add Music again, navigate to my music folder, and then I can add tracks that I've downloaded. And I select open and it adds the track to my project. If I select play from the preview pane, we can listen to this and you'll see that we've got this music in our project. Okay, that's some pretty somber piano music for a fun day in New York City, but that's okay. I didn't like the levels though. I want the music to be a little louder so that I can hear it better, particularly when it's with footage where there's no dialogue. And there are some options for that. I have some options for adjusting my audio levels. If I go to the project tab of my ribbon, there are some options I have here for telling Movie Maker how to deal with audio. I can tell Movie Maker to emphasize narration if I have it. I can tell Movie Maker to emphasize the audio that's in my video track, or I can tell Movie Maker to emphasize music. I'm going to tell Movie Maker to emphasize the music in this case because I want the music to be a little more dominant in this project. And let's listen to how Movie Maker handled that. Got to New York. About to take a bus to Manhattan. I hope you like this video. Okay, that's good. It's better. The music is definitely louder. But I want to make it even louder than that. If I double click on my music track, it's going to open up this options tab. And you'll see above that it says music tools. And I have some tools in here that will help me adjust my audio levels. Way over here to the left, you'll see this speaker icon, it says music volume. And if I click that, I get this volume adjustment slider. So I can move my volume up or down. I'm gonna move my volume up. I want my music to be louder. But then I've also got some other tools in this music tools options panel. If you see right here next to my music volume, I've got some fade in and fade out options. I can tell Movie Maker how to fade my music in. I can fade it in slowly, I can fade it in quickly, or I can fade it in medium length. So let's have this music fade in slowly and let's listen to how Movie Maker handles that. Hey guys, we just got to New York. About to take a bus to Manhattan. I hope you like this video. See you later. Uh, 
I like that. I like how it faded up slowly so that we could still hear him talking at the beginning. The music wasn't really competing with him. And then it really comes up when we go to them on the subway. So now let's add some narration. We've got this video where they're going to go spend a day in Manhattan. We've added this music track. And they introduced the video before we transition to them on the subway. So let's add some voiceover narration right here. This is also really simple in Movie Maker. If I go back to my Home tab in the ribbon, you'll see right here next to Add Music is Record Narration. If I select that, it's going to give me this interface with Record, Stop, Cancel. And I'm going to place my playhead at the point where I want my narration to begin. And then I'm going to hit Record. This was a great day in New York City, riding the subway, skating, eating out on the High Line. I hit stop and it automatically brings up this menu for me to save the file. That's great, I don't risk losing my narration file. And it pre-populates the file name with a date and timestamp. I'm gonna call this Day in the City First Narration. And you can obviously name this whatever you like. And then I save that and look, it automatically drops my narration track into my project where my playhead was. Let's see how this sounds. And you can't even hear that. So let's double click the narration and just as it did with music, Movie Maker opens up this narration tools option tab. I've got the same narration volume slider control. I'm gonna crank this all the way up. It might be too much, but that's okay. We'll see how it sounds. Track is separate from this music track. And if you watch, you can see. It's better, but it's still hard to hear with the music. So let's split our music clip and adjust the portion of the music that's just with our narration. So with my playhead at the place where our narration starts, I'll right click on the music track and choose split. And now this music track is separated from this music track. These are two separate tracks. I can apply effects to them individually. And then I'm gonna to go to the end of my narration and split my music track again. Why am I doing this? Because I wanna adjust the audio of this portion of the music track only. So I wanna be able to isolate that portion of the music track so that I can work with its audio or its volume only. So now that I've got this portion of my music track split apart, I can go into my music options tools and turn down the volume on that portion only. Now let's listen to how this sounds. Okay, so it's getting better. The music does lower. I can hear my voice relative to the music better, but you probably noticed that the audio in the video track is pretty loud too. So I'm gonna select this video clip. I'll double click it and it brings up the same volume controls that I had with my voiceover and music. I'm gonna drag my volume down on this clip and then I'm gonna drag the volume down on the clip after it since my voiceover goes through both clips. Okay, that's getting there. I can still make more adjustments. I can turn this volume up a little more. I can turn the volume in my video down more. And I can continue to tweak all three of these until I get the levels that I want. Okay, that's it for this episode of Windows Movie Maker Tutorials. In the next episode, we're going to be adding transitions to our clips. Thank <laughs> you.